Welcome to session 7 of the series. Here in this session I am going to introduce you to arrays, what they are and how they can be useful in saving time using a very simple example. Arrays basically is like a regular formula, regular function just with the exception that it can do more things at one time. It allows you to save steps and also save time. Now what I have prepared here is a very simple data with salesman in the first column and their sales in the year 2014 and 2015. There are a few things I need to find out the average sales for 2014, 2015 and average sales increase in 2015 as compared to the year 2014. Now to get average sales is very easy using the average function which is pretty simple. However, to get the average sales increase we got to do the extra step which includes adding a new column which shows increase over previous year for each salesman. I will just show you a sample of this. So increase in sales. So this is equal to sales from 2015 minus sales from 2014. I press enter. So without an array you need to do it like this sales 2015 minus sales 2014 to get the increase. Then copy the formula down to get the values. Then average sales increase equals average of all the above value that is equal to I will type in average and select the range and this is my average sales increase. Now we have got this average sales increase value of 6 using normal average formula and without the use of arrays. But you can see this takes more time. So if we want to do all this real quickly, we can use arrays to find average sales increase. So to do that, we will delete the last column of the increase which we don't need. Now let's create array to find out the exact same thing. Basically you create array using the same that is I will type in average here equal to a v e average and here instead of selecting individual value of sales we are going to select entire sales of 2015 minus entire sales of 2014 and close the bracket now. Now one thing to note here is in order to make this array we have to hit control shift and enter keys together. If we don't do that and hit enter we will not get any result. So I will just show you I hit enter and we do not get any result. Now one thing to note in order to make this as array we have to hit control shift and enter keys together as if we don't do that and hit enter we will get the result as in you can see on your screen. <coughs> now to convert this to array I will select here and press control shift and enter on my keyboard and you can see the bracket has got uh, curly brackets at the start and the end. Now this indicates that the formula has been converted to array and you can also see we have got the required value of 6 that is average sales increase of 6 without adding any additional column. So you can see it has saved you an extra step, step and also the time. If you double click the cell you can see the arrays with the bracket go off just leaving the formula and it will be not an array anymore. That is simple, right? Very simple. And you can see it ha saves us a lot of time and effort. And this is arrays is all about. 
आई होप यू हैड अ ग्रेट सेशन